Do you, uh, you, stand up please. Do you swear or affirm that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. You may be seated. Much has been made about the fact that we have said that this is a manufactured crisis. And in many ways, it is manufactured in that it is wholly unnecessary. It is unnecessary to separate children from their families. It is unnecessary to have a policy to detain innocent women and families that have harmed no person and are legally seeking asylum in the United States of America. And these are the women that we spoke to. It's their handwriting. And while we are being asked to speak only to officers, we are not getting the accounts of migrants, of their treatment, of what they are experiencing. And so when these women tell me that they were put into a cell and that their sink was not working and we tested the sink ourselves and the sink was not working and they were told to drink out of a toilet bowl, I believe them. I believe these women. I believed the canker sores that I saw in their mouths because they were only allowed to be fed unnutritious food. I believed them when they said they were sleeping on concrete floors for two months. I believed them. And what was worse about this, Mr. Chairman, was the fact that there were American flags hanging all over these facilities, that children were being separated from their parents in front of an American flag. So I'm asking for Jacqueline, who age, was age seven, from Guatemala, who died from sepsis while in our care. She was the same age as my son when I heard about it. Mr. Speaker, we do have a crisis at our border. It is one of morality. Months ago, while many of my colleagues were claiming that the border situation was a manufactured crisis, we were urging immediate action because the circumstances were horrible. They were overcrowded. They were horrible. Have you ever seen a movie where they have parallel universes, where you're in one world in, in this uh, situation, you're in another world in this situation? Well, that's what I feel like we're in, uh, quite honestly. Uh, in some of my Democrat colleagues' worlds, they seem to think that all of a sudden, out of the blue, thousands of illegal immigrants showed up at the border and are just oblivious, oblivious to the year-long calls by Republicans and some Democrats for years for immigration reform, knowing that our loose immigration laws are what's incentivizing people to come here and what's causing the crisis. Separating children from their mothers and fathers causes damage that may endure for a lifetime. Let me let that sink in. In, in other words, until they die. The Trump administration adopted this child separation policy intentionally, purposefully as a tactic to deter people from coming to the United States and seeking asylum. Fabricating stories of cruelty and besmirching the hardworking civil servants who are protecting the border and providing humanitarian assistance does nothing to help solve the problem. And putting a Band-Aid over the border crisis like we did two weeks ago does not fit the root, fix the root causes. Democrats are serious about solving the border crisis, and let's address the Flory Settlement Agreement. Let's address asylum loopholes and the other statutory and judicial constraints that incentivize aliens to make a dangerous journey to the United States. 